Hi, my name is Jolie, and welcome back to our channel. So we're going to be reading from the newest Al-Anon book. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So it's uh, a little time for myself. So welcome back. For those of you who are rejoining, coming back here, um, for those of you who are new, welcome. And... Um, so let's get started by saying the serenity prayer first and, um, and just move on so we can just center ourselves and set intention here. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Okay. All, set. All right. So what's the date we're doing? Um, January 10th. I hope you're doing good. And let's see what we have. So when I came into Al-Anon, I was unsure where the alcoholics ended and I began. I became uh, so entwined with them that I gave up whatever autonomy I had perhaps robbed them of some of theirs as well. Reflecting on tradition four, which states each group is autonomous except in matters affecting another group or Al-Anon or AA as a whole. So what does that mean? I can guide my relationships and boundaries and take care of that in my autonomy. I do not infringe on another. Today I'm getting to know myself using the steps, traditions, and other tools of the program. I am owning my secrets, desires, and past and present. My sponsor often says we are multifaceted jewels. In learning to be autonomous, I keep the focus on myself to discover many facets. So it says today's reminder, I will continue to keep the focus on myself and practice the concept of autonomy. Having compassion for myself can lead to compassion in all my relations. So learning to find, right? Well, there's a quote from Reaching for Personal Freedom, the book. It says, learning to find the right balance between our autonomy and someone else's is the mature alternative to the loneliness of total freedom or absolute control. So the question of the day asks, what does autonomy look like to me today? Again, what does autonomy look like to me today? So I was talking about this the other day with, um, with my youngest and um, as we're talking about autonomy and that subject comes up quite a bit when um, when I'm thinking about like, like being able to give them the right to do what's best for them and make decisions. And um, I can relate it to like what I always wanted to do. And like when you when you share in a group, like I guess Alan taught me that that was a good thing to do. Like we practice autonomy when you're in the meetings because no one gives advice. Like you share your experience, strength, and hope in a meeting. Like we read, we share, but we don't go, um, oh yeah, we don't like cut in into people's uh, share. Uh, we don't, um, so we practice this. We practice not interrupting. We practice not offering advice. We just practice listening and trust that God's will will be done, which is however 
um, we ourselves or other people have in their, um, you know, when they connect to their higher power or not, like whatever the chips fall is how they're supposed to fall, you know, and not like, oh my God, I know it's going to happen. You know, I can tell it's going to happen, you know, that kind of thing, because then we're not um, focusing on ourselves, focusing on others as if we're helping them. And we're, you know, like, so like the, so it's independence or freedom, autonomy, the meaning of it, right? So um, as of the will or one's action, like the autonomy of the in individual, the condition of being autonomous, self-government, the right of self-government. Um, so that's, you know, in simple terms, it's, um, is that, you know, like that's like the definition of it, um, how to describe it, you know, like it's an individual's capacity for self-determination or self-governance. Now, autonomy for me is myself with my higher power. So that's really important so that I can trust in my, decisions and just for today you know like i'm not going too far in advance and i'm just trying to do the next best thing so that's what um so like also allowing others to do that like i know like you it's hard you know being a parent or a partner with someone who has repeatedly like mismanaged money or gambled or, you know, like, and you're like, I need to control what they are doing so that our lives don't fall apart. Well, there's boundaries for that. And there's, you know, time, you know, like what's enough for you and what's, what's, what's an okay and what's not okay for you. So that has to be you know, over time, you'll be able to figure that out. And um, as long as you're not in a, um, an abusive, uh, harmful, safety hazard, you know, relationship, right? So it's also like when you have, like I was saying, um, when you're, when you have children, you know, like a teenager, and you're like trying to control what they're doing because you think you know best and of course you're you know offer guidance but you also have to have them trust you and there may be trust issues when you have that type of household where there's um you know maybe you're still maturing and uh you know there's a lot to be said about all that so you know that's it's just it's it's a process and it's progress. It's not perfect, you know, life. And especially when you're in recovery, it just gets better and clearer the more you practice the traditions and the, the steps and um, read and show up for meetings and listen to how other people work out their life. And then you can just have faith that you're going to be able to do it too, because no matter what, it's okay, you know, and um, being mindful of that on your, on your way, you know, as you're on your way, you know, uh, autonomy is like the ability to pursue a goal by like, as, as yourself without someone like throwing in like what they're what you're supposed to do and da, da, da. I mean if you're if you're working and you work for someone then you're helping them solve their problem you know when you're when you work for someone but when you're have a problem on your own then you can take care of that you know like the ability to do that and collaborate with you and your higher power like you know so it's and allowing other people to do that too, whether or not they fail or, or 
or do well. You know, everyone needs to have um, the right to do that. You know, that's respect. Autonomy to me is also respect for ourselves and for other people and their personal journey. So I'll go ahead and, um, you know, you know, as long as we're making um, the best informed decisions we can about certain things that we do, considering our own values and preferences, um, ethical, the best we can, our principles of autonomy, you know, ethical principle of autonomy emphasizes an individual's right to make decisions about their own life and well-being. And so sometimes that's uh, like loving someone with uh, a detachment. Like if someone uh, goes to jail or gets detained uh, in another country, you know, like you give them the autonomy to uh, make decisions for themselves, you know, um, because that's all you can do. And you hope for the best. And just pray, like I, like I used to pray for certain exact things for people. Like I pray that they, uh, you know, I, I do pray like if they stay safe, and for God's will for them. And um, that I pray for them to make the best decisions uh, for themselves. But I used to pray for things like, I pray that they stop drinking, or I pray that they, you know, are, they, they will finally see that I'm right. You know, like, I pray that they'll, you know, like, so fill in the blank, you know, and now I, I've learned to stop doing that so that I stop um, putting myself into things that are none of my business and, and pull that focus back on myself and my recovery so that I can be the best person I can and allow life to happen how it's going to happen so that I can take responsibility back for myself, my actions, and the intimate things that I need to take care of, like my personal family that are dependent on me. So that, that's that. Anyway, I love you guys. And since we already said the serenity prayer, I'm going to go ahead and end and, um, and send you hugs and kisses, and I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. Take a look. There is, um, I did put st step five up, and um, so that's that's up. If you're interested in the steps, just go ahead and go into the main page, and you put in whatever step you want. Step one, two, three, four, five, and so on. There's twelve. And then you can watch the video that I've created for that. Okay. All right. I love you. And I'll see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading.